Congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Congenital adrenal hyperplasia, also known as CAH or adrenal genital syndrome, is an autosomal recessive disorder caused by deficiencies in adrenal steroid synthesis enzymes. Because of the overall lack of adrenal steroid synthesis, low cortisol levels reduces negative feedback on pituitary system causing increase in adrenocorticotropic hormone release, which stimulates and causes hyperplasia of the adrenal glands. The three main enzymatic deficiencies are 21 hydroxylase, 11 hydroxylase, 17 hydroxylase. A unifying feature between 21, 11, and 17 hydroxylase deficiency is that the deficiency in an enzyme in one pathway causes precursors to be shunted over to remaining functional pathways. The main problems are salt and sex. 21 hydroxylase deficiency. This enzyme is responsible for the synthesis of aldosterone and cortisol. Deficiency leads to decrease in aldosterone, decrease in cortisol, increase in androgens. Clinically, this presents as salt wasting with hypotension and ambiguous female genitalia or male precocious puberty. Laboratory findings. There is decrease in end products cortisol and aldosterone, increase in end products 17 ketosteroids, testosterone and DHT, increase in precursor 17 hydroxyprogesterone. 11 hydroxylase deficiency. This enzyme is one step down the pathway toward making both cortisol and aldosterone. As such, it presents similarly to 21 hydroxylase deficiency with one key difference. While the aldosterone precursor that accumulated with 21 hydroxylase deficiency did not have any hormonal activity, the block in 11 hydroxylase allows for 11 deoxycorticosterone to be made, which has a weak mineralocorticoid effect. This causes salt and water retention. The deficiency leads to decrease in aldosterone, decrease in cortisol, increase in androgens, increase in 11 deoxycorticosterone, which is a weak mineralocorticoid. Clinically, it presents with hypertension and ambiguous female genitalia from excess androgens. 21 and 11 are similar numbers, so remember they are in the same pathways and cause similar effects. Additionally, 11 hydroxylase deficiency can be remembered with the following mnemonic with up arrows representing the hypertension and masculinized genitalia. 17 hydroxylase deficiency. Deficiency in this enzyme prevents androgens and cortisol from being formed. This results in high aldosterone levels and dysfunctional sexual development. Deficiency leads to increase in aldosterone, decrease in cortisol, decrease in androgens. Clinically, in males, they will be born with either feminized or completely female external genitalia and hypertension resulting from salt and water retention. In females, since the female genitalia is the default pathway, females will appear sexually normal at birth. However, since androgens are essential to puberty, the females will present with a lack of secondary sexual development. Like the males, they will also have hypertension. Lab findings. There will be an increase in end products aldosterone, decrease in end products cortisol, decrease in end products 17 ketosteroids, testosterone, and DHT.